I'm the Crispy Plays Games, and this is your CPG rant of the evening. So, last year I was offered the opportunity, well, in fact, I took the opportunity to go to VidCon. VidCon, a YouTube video creator content. Sorry, let me replace that. You, VidCon is a video creators conference designed to support creators of all types who are making video online, whether you're talking about YouTube or Twitch or uh, Vimeo or Netflix or anything else like that. It's a pretty cool conference. It's got a lot of panels and other things like that. But one of the key things about it is it actually has a bunch of community building. And so one of the people that is a regular, met several of the people that are regulars in the stream are people who I have met through connections that I made at VidCon. VidCon for me has been something that I've gone to two years in a row. The first year that I worked at YouTube, I didn't get to go to it. The second year I told my boss I'm going to go whether, you know, I have a ticket or not, so you know you might want to find me a ticket. And I did the same thing in 2016. And it's been a really fun experience. But one of the things that I did differently this year when I went than I did the previous year is that I, I was actually asking as much more of a creator. Uh, I was going as someone who makes videos rather than just someone who works on the YouTube video infrastructure. And that was a very different, interesting difference in perspective. So as someone who worked on YouTube, especially in 2015, it was the case that I constantly felt like I needed to be on the lookout for people who had had problems with YouTube to help them with that. And I was never really thinking of my own content or learning anything about it. And so I went to, to talks and I listened to talks and I talked to people and other things like that, but I never really got very far in the networking or understanding or other things like that. And so I had a big pile of cards that I went through and I emailed people afterwards and so on and so forth, but I never really was building up my own set of connections. This year, on the other hand, I think that that was a very different experience for me. And the primary thing that VidCon offers me is the opportunity to quickly and easily get access to many thousands of creators and network with them. Not the big creators, not Boogie and MatPat and other folks like that, but the medium moderate sized creators, the people with between 1,000 and 100,000 subs or 1,000 and a million subs are very useful and interesting and valuable to, you know, establish connections with. And the reason is because you can take those connections and do something else with them. Uh, you can go ahead and so, for example, I've been able to, you know, build a connection with the Art Sherpa community. And one of the things that I've done from that is actually a number of regulars who come by these streams routinely now are people that I met from that collection. And they weren't people who were just coming for art, but instead are other creators or other people who are involved in the creation space and other things like that. The other thing that, of course, that was beneficial at this VidCon compared to the last one is that I specifically set out to build a set of like uh, to set up housing early on. And so we planned with a bunch of people who didn't know each other that well. We only knew each other on the Internet to share an Airbnb at VidCon. And that was also really interesting. That was really interesting because I got an opportunity to um to, to spend time not just at the conference, but, but outside of it with all of these other people. And in fact, the Airbnb at VidCon in 2016 of like a bunch of people who were YouTube gaming streamers ended up being a kind of focal point for our small community. So VidCon, in addition to a time to being a chance to build official networking opportunities to kind of talk to people, exchange business cards and other things like that, is also a time to increase the strength of your community. It's an opportunity for you to reach out and to like bring together the people that you know are part of your community. And, and many of the folks who are watching this are part of my community. Whether they're streamers or viewers or anything else like that, and obviously viewers are not the primary target of VidCon unless you're under the age of 15, uh, but, but whether you're streamers or viewers or anything else like that, bringing that community together is a really valuable thing. And I was able to, you know, with YouTube's money and sanctioning and everything else like that, set up a pizza party where we had all these people come by. I set up the live stream where a bunch of people got to see each other. And, and that was a really interesting and exciting experience for me to be able to bring all of these people together. How at VidCon this year, I got to meet One Shot Girl, AKA Julie. I got to meet Stat, AKA uh, Sterling. I got to meet Bunty King and Game Dojo and Blucifer and Gang Kang Gaming and all of these other people. And it was an amazing experience. I got to build all of these different connections to people that I otherwise didn't have. I got to build all of these connections 
to people that I, I didn't have before that and really build up that community. And those community connections, I think, are maintained to this day. So this year, I'm trying to collect people from VidCon and to talk to them about what they would like to see, whether they'd like to see, you know, uh, or who wants to share with who and who's planning to go to VidCon and everything else like that. So, uh, and, and to bring people in early to try and build this community up because as YouTube gaming has grown, so has our community. And instead of the six or eight or 12 people who are go were going last year and were part of the community that that was there we've now got this ma much more massive community of people who i am excited to see and i hope to see all of you uh you know participating so if you're coming to the vidcon if you're coming to vidcon this year i i hope that you will check out my twitter there's a pinned tweet it has the opportunity for you to fill out a form so that i can try and help arrange housing for people um if you're not coming to vidcon this year i i think that it is absolutely something that you should um if you're a creator consider not just because of the talks and I think that sometimes people don't get as much out of the talks as maybe they, they could because it's it's hard to find the right talks to go to, but not just out of the talks, but instead out of the community building, out of the social building, and most importantly, out of the networking, out of the community of people who are, you know, um, there to build connections with, to establish connections with, and and to become, you know, to know people, to become part of, and everything else like that. So, so I'm going to be there. I'm going to be spinning the propeller on my head. I hope that you'll be there and spinning whatever the propeller on your head is, or meeting up with people, or, or making friends. And even if you're not, paying attention. Paying attention to the things that are learned, paying attention to the networking opportunities, paying attention to anything else like that. Um, I'm the Chris who plays games. This was just a little bit of a rant about VidCon, and I hope that you will join me there this year if you are a creator. I hope that you will consider it and check it out and, and share with us and be part of the community and help grow this community.